Hi there, Nolan here from eLearning Portal. In today's lesson, I'll show you how to create an embedded answer question in Moodle. So let's jump right in. So in our previous lesson, we've created the quiz with different question types. Now I'll show you how to create an actual embedded question. Okay. First, we need to click on Options and then More. Scroll down and click on Questions. These are the questions that we've already created. Now we need to click on Create a new question. Scroll down and select Embedded, Answer or Close Question Type. Click Add. Again the same, first the question name and then the question text. So let's type in here Use the rule and complete the table. Okay, so let's copy this and paste it here and then increase the size. Let's make it medium and just below it, let's type the rule y is equal to uh, 2x plus 3. Okay, so they need to use this rule and complete the table. Okay, so let's paste the table in here. So I've already created the table. I'll paste it in here. So there's my table, my x values and my y values. Okay, so now for each value, they need to type in the correct answer by using the rule. Okay, so to use this embedded answers or the closed question type, uh, we need to use certain parameters, okay? Okay, so first we need to allocate the mark of the answer, okay? So first we start with curly braces, then this is only one mark, colon, then we use the word short answer, since this will be a short answer, again colon, and then the correct answer, okay? And we know the correct answer is minus one, we close our curly braces, and then we can just copy this. Let's control C and control V for each cell here. Paste it there. And now we can only edit the correct answer. Okay. So the correct answer here will be one. The correct answer here will be three. The correct answer here will be five. And the correct answer here will be seven. Okay, so now remember it's open curly braces, the mark allocated to the correct answer, colon, short answer, the word, colon again, equal sign, and then the correct answer. Okay, so now we need to scroll down. We can provide feedback here. Scroll down and underneath ID number you see decode and verify the question. Click on that and what Moodle now does is it verifies those answers that we've given, okay? You, based on the parameters we've provided, and you'll see here, here are my answers, number one to number five, and you can click on it, and here you'll see the default mark is one, and this is where the one is. No case or unimportant, the answer is minus one, and then the grade is one. So the answer is minus one, and the grade will also be one. The same for question two, default mark is one, the answer is one, and uh, the grade is one. Question three, default mark is one, the answer is three, and the grade is one. Same for question four, answer is five, grade is one. The same for question five, default mark is one, answer is seven, and grade is one. Okay. Now we can click on Save Changes. Once it's saved, it will be added to our, all our other questions. Let's click on View by clicking on Edit and then Preview. And this is what our question will look like. Okay, we can move that to the center as well. Okay, so now let's complete the table. This will be minus one. This will be one. This will be three five and seven 
Okay, so let's test it. There you can see the correct answers. Okay, in short, this is how we set up um, an embedded question. Uh, let's create one more. Let's click on create, scroll down and click on embedded question. Click on add. And now we can provide a name. Okay. Let's say we want to use a multiple choice question as an embedded answer. Okay. Okay, so let's provide a question name. Complete the table by using the rule. Okay, so let's copy this and paste it here. Let's increase the size and also center it. Okay. We'll use the same rule y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, let's increase the size and please center it. Okay. So now let's use the very same table. We'll paste it in here. Okay. Remember we've used the short answer now. Okay, so for multi multiple choice or whether you want to learn us to select an answer. Let's uh, let me show you how to use that. We open with curly braces, the mark, colon. But now instead of short answer, we type in multi, multi choice. Okay. Then colon. Now we provide the correct answer. Remember the correct answer was minus one. But now we provide different options. You can also provide feedback by using the hash key. Okay, so if you use the hash key, you can next to the hash key, you can type in OK for correct answer. Then we'll use the tilde key, uh, that's shift and just the key to your left of one, the tilde key, and then for other options. Okay, so let's say, say one. Uh, and you can also provide feedback for this, okay, by using the hash key and then typing in wrong, okay. Let's close our curly braces mm -hmm. and now we can copy this and paste it. Paste, paste, and let's paste it there as well, okay. Paste it there as well. Okay, so now we have our different options. But now we have to remove these correct answers. Okay, so let's do that. We know this one is, mm -hmm. this is not the correct answer. So let's do that one. And that will be three. And that will be five. And the next one will be seven, okay. Okay, so that will be seven. Okay, so now let's scroll down and decode. Okay, so that's that, and there's our questions and answers. Let's save changes. Okay, and let's look at what we've created. Click on preview and now you'll see you have an option to select the correct answer okay okay so in short this is how we set up a embedded answer question type or a closed question type where you can either use the short answer or you can use the multi-choice answer all right, so in our next lesson, I'll show you how to create an ebook within your Moodle course completely free and how to obtain a premium license completely free for the ebook software.